Jonah Shao. I'm here with Hal Elrod. He's a fellow mastermind peer. He wrote an incredible book called The Miracle Morning. It's a number one bestseller. And you have such an incredible story. You know, I work with a lot of actors where you know, a lot of things come in the way of pursuing your dream. When I was 20 years old, I was driving home from a sales meeting. I was a top salesperson. Hit head on by a drunk driver at 70 miles an hour. I broke 11 bones on this side of my body was dead for six minutes and came out of a coma six days later. The doctor said I would never walk again and I had suffered permanent brain damage. And I lost my business, I lost my house, I got deeply depressed to the point of being suicidal. And I realized that really successful people, they wake up early while the rest of the world is hitting the snooze button. The most successful <laughs> people yeah, are up and I was guilty. I was like the most non-morning person. So to keep a long story short, I decided I've got to wake up early, an hour earlier than I had to be up and work on becoming the person that I needed to be through meditation, affirmations, visualization, exercise, reading, journaling, every single morning. And within two months, I doubled my income. Wow. My depression was gone almost in 24 hours. I like woke up the next morning, did this thing, and I was like, my miracle morning, and it felt like I had a new lease on life. And finally, um, I went from being in the worst shape of my life physically, where I hadn't exercised for six months, to training for a 52-mile ultra marathon wow. that I com completed. If you want to change your life, you've got to change something that you do every day, right? John Maxwell said that. And the only thing you do every day to start the day is how you start the day, right? Meaning <laughs> most people, they resist the act of waking up. And like you said, especially as actors, like, yeah, I have to be anywhere today. So Matthew Kelly calls this the disease of minimalism, where the human race, we tend to settle for a lot less than we really want and are capable of. We tend to do what's easy and gives us short-term pleasure in turn to set what does long-term fulfillment. So in the morning when the alarm goes off and you hit the snooze button, you're literally starting the day resisting your life. It's, you're, you're saying, in one, in one instance, I want an extraordinary life. I want to be successful. I want to be a, an Academy Award-winning actor or actress. Mm, right. When the alarm goes off and you have that first opportunity, that first <laughs> gift, it's like, I don't want that life as bad as I'd rather lay here unconscious for nine more minutes, right? You know, as actors, oftentimes, you know, we hear different things. Oh, we're not attractive enough. We're not skinny enough. We're, you know, we're getting these outside opinions and sometimes they're generated by ourselves. Sure. So how do you, um, how did you break through that kind of, uh, the people that just didn't believe that what was possible? Does that make sense? Yeah, a couple things. So first for me, I, I told my parents, I said, look, mom and dad, the doctors might be experts in medicine, but they're not experts in me right? They don't know me. They don't know my heart. They don't know my will. They don't know what I'm capable of, you know, and I, I don't think I even knew what I was capable of. And none of us know what we're capable of because mm -hmm. we're capable of so much more than we've ever shown ourselves, right? And I think most of us suffer from what I call rear view mirror syndrome where we have this rear view mirror in our subconscious and we think that who we were is who we are, mm -hmm. but that's bullshit. Right. Pardon me, French. Because who we are is whoever we're, we're able to become, right? Mm -hmm. And I think we've got to create a vision for ourselves based on our unlimited potential. And, and part of the miracle morning is you use affirmations to remind you of what you want, why you want it, the sky is the limit, and who you really are, not based on who you were, but based on who you can become. And then visualize every day what it is you want. I visualize walking every day, and I, my first step was three weeks after the night of the crash. Whatever your dream is, don't give up. You know, the majority, there's, there is no such thing as failure. There, there's only two options. There's success, and then there's quitting. Now, little failures happen all the time along the way, right? But you can't really fail unless you give up on your dream. So whatever your dream is, you're gonna get knocked down. You've probably been knocked down. Embrace it. Every knockdown, every defeat, you're one step closer to everything you've ever wanted. So continue to pursue it. Make your dreams a reality. There's nothing that you can't have be and do if you commit. If you go to miraclemorning.com, you can get the Fast Start Kit for free. And so it's, you get the first few chapters of the book, you get a 17 minute video of me actually on stage giving this as a speech to thousands of people, uh, and you get a 60 minute audio training, and it's totally free. Well, thank you, Hal. I appreciate that freebie for our yeah. folks. So, um, Jonah Shaw here with uh, Hal Elrod. Thank you thank so you. much, um, and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.